What's going on, horror fam? Johnny Horror here back again today in Hunt Valley, Maryland for Monster Mania Con 56. The last time it's gonna be here. All right, I'm gonna take you inside, give you the virtual experience. Got some vendors straight ahead. Got, a, got some rooms and vendors downstairs. Uh, so first, I'm gonna take you step by step. We're gonna go into the first room right after the uh, entrance here. On the left, and check out Corey Feldman, Jameson Newlander, Randy Quaid, and Kane, the wrestler. Here's some signing pics of Corey, uh, some Lost Boys, and Friday the 13th stuff. There was a rumor going around on the weekend that his prices had doubled or gone up, and that just didn't happen. Just wanted to clear that up. Here's Jameson Newlander's socials. He has a YouTube channel, you should check him out, where he documents locations from the Lost Boys and visits them. It's really cool, check it out. Wow, this is amazing. So, so this is it right here, look, if, if you take a look. All right, so we're just going to go down the hall here and check out William Fickner and the Sons of Anarchy guys. Yeah, Roger Van Zandt. Yeah, who's this? You know what this is. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I sent a guy to deliver the package. He didn't call. Is everything right? Tell you what, forget the money. What? Forget the money. It's a lot of money. What are you doing? What do you mean, forget the money? What am I doing? I'm talking to an empty telephone. I don't understand. Because there was a dead man on the other end of this
Oh, look at all God's children. So tell me, who wants to look like Elvis? Me! your mobile all morning. I'm very concerned about how we left things yesterday. 
Rose? Are you there? Hello? No. Oh, no. Almost time, Rose. how much I wanted to cut you all open and climb inside your body so that we could stay one happy family. Thickness, but it writes thinner. Uh, ah. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. I don't know uh, why. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Awesome. Perfect. Harry Manfredini is a legend who's done countless music for so many movies and one of the best signatures in the business. And I'm like, she said that? Yeah. And I'm like, and I turn around and look at Betsy Palmer and I'm like, Betsy Palmer just said signature. This is like one of the most amazing things I've ever heard in my life. And it's the chisel point besides. Yeah. This pen is for cocktail. You got any better ones? Yeah. Yes, I mean. Throw that one away. Okay. That's a good one. Just a little. <laughs> Just a little difference. You suck! Warrington Gillette played Jason Voorhees at the end of Friday the 13th Part 2 in that window scene. CJ Graham played Jason Voorhees in Friday 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. <laughs> Kent Kurzinger played Jason in Freddy vs. Jason.
Derek Mears played Jason Voorhees in the Friday the 13th remake. Lawrence Monison played Ted in Friday the 13th, the final chapter. Do you want anything? Um, you want to, can you fit a quote? Or can you fit oh, yeah, I can yeah? fit a quote. Okay. Nice. I can do anything. <laughs> it's unlimited. Tina and Terry, the bike twins from Friday the 13th, the final chapter, were also there. Kimberly Beck played Trish in Friday the 13th, the final chapter. This is Mark here with Horrible Kids, and this is his line. He makes these all himself. He's got some cards, all different series. He's got the signed ones. He's got more over here. Next,
Wait, you didn't see him yet? I was videoing Greg, but I didn't want to be obvious and get yelled at again. Everybody's yelling at me. See my nipples? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, geez, don't do that. YouTube might want to. No, no, YouTube definitely doesn't want to see my nipples. <laughs> we are on <laughs> the hoppy days, hoppy nights. Right. She's so cute. Yeah, but like, from Doctor Sleep. Yeah, I think it's yellow. He's like, yeah. Say hi. Say hi. Hey. Maybe I'll help you sell some treat poppers on YouTube. Everybody's on their phones. Everybody wants to leave because it's pretty quiet.
closer. So this is Mixtape Massacre. It's a homage to Amy's Horror. You are playing as the slashers in a small town. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get your characters in the different locations on the map. Those will open up scenes from the VHS deck, which gives you scenes in the game to kill certain people. And part of the fun is a lot of those scenes will involve references to old films like Dirty Dancing, Bill and Ted, Breakfast Club, things like that. So as you start to make kills, you'll start collecting pieces like this. You want to get to a certain amount of those to win the game, or you want to kill off all your friends you're playing with. Your knives will keep track of your health while you play. Every character has an ability they can use once per game. There's supplies you can pick up along the way to help you with kills and fights. And there's heroes that get called into the game based upon noise being made and cards being drawn. Two to six players, usually 30 minutes to an hour and a half per game. Tons of replayability. If you have Spotify, there's actually an 80s playlist that soundtracks the game while you play it. Um, best part about it is, though there's a lot of stuff here, it only takes about 20 minutes to learn the core rules and then you're off to the races. Even better, it's been out seven years, so we have a slew of expansions, mini upgrades, we have booster packs, and even a sequel where you play as the kids in the town trying to escape the slashers. So yeah, perfect game for Halloween or any time of year, so pick one up. Hello there.
if you made it this far in the video thanks for watching please leave a like subscribe and all that stuff and thank you delta hotels hunt valley for the many years of monster mania con and we'll catch you in the next one